lighting may be down for the count. Got to get that fixed. Dog decided it wanted to, uh, no joke, throw up on my power cord. So I kind of fried that end of it. Ordered a new one, so we'll see if that actually works now. But can't make that shit up. She literally puked on the power cord. So we're uh, making do with what we have. <laughs> well, uh, this is what I have going so far. So doing what we got to do. So. Yeah, just an SGC slab reveal here. This is an order from June. I don't know, Colin, what kind of stuff you like, man. A few things didn't grade out just because they didn't meet minimum subs. Kind of disappointed in the one. This is Nick Foles. Raw grade 9.5. I guess I'll just have to sub that through uh, through Beckett. And I was told all these go figure. You know, months ago, whenever these things were supposed to be good. Oh, by the way, too large. Thanks, assholes. Didn't realize that. Too large. But when I sent them in, they were $150 cards. <laughs> we all know how that worked out. Oh, God. I'm still going to send them in to somebody. I don't know who the hell I'll send them to, but I'll send them to somebody. And who did... Why would you do that? Why would you put that in with the Tome? Apparently Nick Foles didn't meet their criteria. For the min grade 9.5. I mean, the centering is dead on on the front. I guess the back centering is off. Becca just didn't care about that as much. I don't know. They probably didn't even bother crack. It doesn't even look like they cracked it out. So, how are you going to get the min grade if you don't even crack the seal on it and actually look at it? So, yeah, I don't know how they're doing that but you know what it's raw grade 9.5 and nick Foles stuff's on fire right now so i'm not really going to complain the fact that it's not cracked out so not sure what i'm going to do with that whether i'll beck at it or try and move it while he's actually hot right now who knows he could fizzle out this week i hope not i like nick Foles, so first one up's pretty nice it's a gold version. That's the lowest print run of all these. Jim Tomey on card auto. Nine with the ten. Really tough grade to get, so I'm not really complaining with that. That's not bad. A few of these are for a customer. All the, Pretty much all the vintage. Some of the Michael Jordans. Um, some of them are mine, but 99% or 90% of this is mine few things are his said a couple of this guy not sure if he's going to be any good but i figured we get 10 tens of a couple of nice bryson stots why the hell not i do have two bryson stots in here that are 10 tens got a couple phillies fans in here so maybe somebody will want that everything's going to be available except for my um my jeter nine fives those are going to pc this is one of the ones for uh, for buddy I, at work. He decided he wanted to try and have some of his collection graded so he could get it sold. So all of his stuff will be available. He just needs to get me an idea of what he wants pricing-wise for him. But this is one of his. Congrats on the 9.5 on the pool hole. So I told him that one would grade well. I bought his other raw one that wasn't as good a condition because I'm a good guy. And I told him, you know what? <laughs> Send this sucker because it is it is clean. And his Munson's like, this one was great shape. Just the centering is just horrible. I mean, you check out the corners and everything on that bad boy. It's got really good corners. But it's just god off on the centering. <laughs> I mean, that thing's just like running off the cord. That might be a PSA 7 OC. 
Uh, nice card, though. Oh, it looks like all the vintage was down here. See, a lot of his stuff was pretty good shape, but just centering's just really bad. And they do butcher on centering. It's okay. It's all right. Kofax isn't too bad on centering. It's got some issues, but it's a little bit better. Back's a little bit better. It's definitely got a uh, crease or something down in that right corner. Uh, that's kind of cool. That helped with the lighting a little bit. No. Sophie. What? That helped a little bit. This one was pretty cool. That was much better. That is a really good seven. Again, if the back centering wasn't so bad, he might have gotten a nine on this. If that was centered on the back, I bet you this is a nine. Because, I mean, the, sh the corners are sharp on it. The front centering's just about on point. Eh, not a nine, probably an eight. It's still, it. that's a pretty solid seven. It's a fair grade. Classic. Uh, such such good shape, except for the centering, which was really tough with these 71 tops. This one's almost worth more in, in good shape than his actual rookie card. It's more popular. It's a lot harder to grade. Five and a half on his 70 tops. He had a lot of vintage stuff. My stuff, not so much. And they told me that they weren't going to grade this, but they did. And I'm glad that they did. Because I just wanted authenticated. Because I knew it was legit, but I wasn't sure exactly where it came from. And now I know. 2001 Rack Pack Buyback Autograph. 35 out of 90, so I'm glad that they got their research team together, as, as they call it, and authenticated and graded this. So moving forward, I'll know I can send these to SGC, and they won't charge me an arm and a leg like PSA will. Because PSA or you know Beckett, they'll try and pull that, oh, we got to do the PSA DNA stuff. And SGC took care of business on this. Yeah, surface a little bit messed up on the case, but it cleaned up good. But if you can see, you guys see the FLIR imprinted uh, seal on there? That's because it was the buyback. So it has, it says like FLIR something authentic on it. But it's a really cool autograph. That is box one. There's two large boxes right next to me, though. This is just the beginning. Only only into three cards of mine. Oh, Nathan. This is the Foles I was talking about, bud. It's even a 9.5 Beckett Wise Raw Grade to 299 Black. I got to look and see what those bad boys are going for now. Yeah, there's a couple of monsters in here. I know that for a fact. So we'll see how they package it. This is a unique box. I've never seen this because I don't know if I've sent this many before. I do have two other orders out that are 120 cards each that are all my stuff, minus a couple of good ones for guys in the breaks. Like Mr. Quintana has his gold refractor top spinus that we pulled. Ah, that's pretty cool. Very nice. You guys can see that, how they package that. Pretty solid. It's not going to shift around. How I'm going to get them out, though, that's a whole other story. Guess we shift that down. Yeah, yeah. That works. Let's cut it. 
Simple man for a simple task here. Oh, jeez, they got... Oh, my God. Got rubber bands all over the place. Struggle City. <laughs> it's alright, I'll take it because it's very well packaged. Let's get these out and then we'll go through them. We'll just do row one and then we'll go through the rest. Ooh, there's my Tom Brady. Oh, Tommy Brady. go through row one there's the other stop very nice four out of seven ten ten gem mint i know it's leaf and the other one's bowman's best but i think this leaf one looks a lot better looks good in this case I'll re-sleeve these. You know, these are just used sleeves, but man, does that thing look sharp. Very nice. Next up, some more vintage. Another solid seven. Again, the centering got them real bad. Because he's saying some of these cards are just about mint with the uh, corners wise. Centering on the back's not too bad, but the centering on the front definitely got him again. So he has both the 72 regular and the 72 in action of Munson. Both sevens, both... Yeah, this one's even worse on the back. Almost a miscut. But SGC is really good with their vintage. This one I really like. I may try and work a deal out for this one. Seven and a half for the rookie. That's actually a pretty good grade. Really sharp looking on the front. Real nice cord. On the back. Even the back centering is pretty good for once. There we go. Yeah, this might have been a pretty tough grade then. I can tell the top, top right corner a little bit. That's a sharp looking card. There's the other 71 tops. Yeah, definitely pretty accurate on that one. This one I've sent to every single company. I think it's either a vending or it was trimmed. Um, I'm kind of guessing that it was trimmed. I just wanted somebody to finally just all just put an authentic on it. You know, like I'm just tired of sending it around. I didn't think that it was going to grade out with SGC. Just like I said, you can tell it doesn't fit into the case. It's a little short. I've heard that there are vending versions of this, but regardless, if somebody wants a ridiculously good condition, Ricky Henderson rookie, I mean this, regardless of what somebody did or didn't do to it, or if it's vending, it is still an amazing looking card. So on display, 1980 tops, Ricky Henderson authentic. It is what it is. But I rather have this in a case encapsulated and preserved than to just have it raw. So, and that way too, somebody's not having it uh, raw and thinking, oh my God, I've got this gem mint condition or mint condition Ricky Henderson. No, dude. <laughs> It's either altered or, or vending, so either way, it's not going to grade out. Now you know. Another pretty sweet card. Members only, Mike Piazza. This is pretty much his rookie card. I know the uh, 92 Bowman is like the iconic rookie, but this is his stadium club rookie, I believe. There aren't a whole lot of those around in that grade. Got a little killed on my Griffies in this one. Nine still. All right. You know, we want nine fives or above, but especially if I'm grading this kind of stuff, they don't really have a whole lot of value, but they are sweet cards. So Griffey collector. And like this one, I thought would do a little bit better, but obviously the uh, 
Didn't pay very good attention to the centering before I sent it. This is the, uh, you can see it, the silver signature. I think the uh, front centering really got this one. Because everything else is pretty spot on. Maybe a touch on the corner somewhere. Oh well. Got to be a few duds in there. Mike Trout. Tarot of the car, Tarot of Diamonds insert. I sold a PSA 10 out of this for a good chunk of change. I don't remember what it was, but I'll have to look it up. But this is another card that just really pops. I had a ton of these, but none of them were in very good shape. They all had issues with you know, whiting on the corners or something along those lines. This was the best one I could find. Out of all that heritage we opened, I did find one. Then the Nico Horner. Action variation. Pulled that out of one of my personal boxes. The edge is a little rough, tiny, tiny, tiny bit spots at the top edge, but that's literally the only imperfection in that thing. Just those little spots. That's it. Black case, black borders, very nice. Now this one I know is his true rookie. Well, you know, true rookie year. Members only Jeff Bagwell, 9.5. Again, you won't see very many of these. And you won't see very many of the 9.5s like that, let alone seeing a perfect 10. Well, <laughs> not top of the scale, not a pristine, which would have been just badass, but we'll, uh, we'll take a 10. Members only 10, Jeff Bagwell. And believe it or not, this Bagwell, as, long as, as well as the other Bagwell, my neighbor dropped off a binder full of, or not even a binder, just random pages he dug out of the trash. <laughs> Don't ask me why this weird man was digging through the trash, but he was digging through the trash and he thought of me. And he pulled out some baseball cards. He's like, I know that you're into baseball cards, so I'm going to go and bring, I brought them over to you and figured... Not sure if they're worth anything. And, you know, raw, they really, maybe a dollar or two, some of them here and there. And I told them, you know, thank you. And I was like, I'll use some beer now. <laughs> and uh, sure enough, I started going through and I'm like, man, some of these are in pretty good shape. They're not like the most valuable cards in the world. You know, a bunch of 90s random stuff, but like those bag wells. And you'll see a few more in here that I was pulling out of there and. I couldn't believe after making it through the trash and being in his random bag, they just were still in that good a condition. Here's one I held on to for a while. Finally sent it in to be graded. Carson Wentz, this is the gold version, the 199 of the rookie year contenders. I haven't found any others listed, let alone any others in gem mint condition. So that'll be interesting to see. What we do with that, it'll be for sale, but like I said, I gotta get all this stuff priced out. Pretty sweet looking Tom Brady to 99. Purple, Panini Elite. Back when he was with his Patriots. Not quite gem, but still 9.5 on their scale. Oh, there goes Riley. This is another one I'll probably just tuck away with my Jeter stuff. It's only an 8, but still. I uh, PC this stuff. I might sell this one since it's an 8, though. I'm trying to be good and stick with only 9s. It's getting more and more expensive all the time. So I may make this one available. You can see that lower corner, lower left corner. And gave it some uh, problems. As well as the front centering. Still, the Pinnacle's been a uh, card on the rise for a while. 
I'm still trying to get this thing in a 10. I've been trying. I've been sending, sending them and... Well, not sending them. I've been buying them. Every time I get a lot, I just hope that one is a 10 and haven't gotten it so far. But a 9.5 is a good start. This is the 97 tops. Rookie Cup. Derek Jeter. 96 top, sorry. That was like the first top set that I had. And I was still a big Jeter fan. So this one's just like really special to me. So I'm hoping to get it into a 10. But I want to do it my, my way. I don't want to buy it. You know, I want to just kind of buy them. And then just kind of come across it. And find the one that ends up being a 10. I think it's kind of how I'm doing a lot of the Jeter stuff that I keep from my PC moving forward. Don't get me wrong, I'm still buying 10s and everything, but. Got a 9. Again, one of those ones hoping we can uh, gem, but it's still a pretty sharp card. McGuire Refractor with Hank Aaron in the background. Yay! Nothing too crazy. Another Jeter action pack there. These are super tough to grade. I don't think I've ever had one get past the nine. This one I've been trying to get a 10 as well. This is the second one that I've sent in that I've gotten a 9.5 on. Looking Sensations Fleer 97. I end up keeping that one this time until I can get a 10 out of it. They're kind of really, man, they're strict on these cards. These 89 Griffies, they are just really, really strict on them. Well, now I see why. <laughs> oh, man, I miss that. God, that back centering is terrible. Yeah, I miss that. I was too, too tantalized with the front. I'm like, yeah, the front looks pretty good. Now I look at it, and I'm like, wow, top to bottom back is extremely left to right. I'm thankful they gave me an 8. This one's solid though. It's a 9. Top's traded. Has some issues on the back edges and touch touches of white. Did that one in. Dad. Dad. What up, buddy? Dad. Oh, salad. You got salad for me. There's another 9. Used to be we could buy these nines for you know 10, 15 bucks and not quite anymore. The Griffey nines for rookies have gone up significantly. Not saying that they're you know hundred and hundred or more dollar cards, but they are they were and are still a little bit on the rise. Alright, next batch coming up. Yeah, like I said, my Griffies, I just, that one's front centering, you can already tell. Back centering's off, too. I just missed on these. It's better in raw, though, man. They're not worth much raw. I got kind of killed on these. I figured I would. I just, I was like, man, I gotta, I gotta slab it as opposed to having it raw. 7.5 kind of sucks. Really disappointing. But, again... I can see the issue. You see the print line down at the bottom. So, I mean, I, I get it. I see the issue. Me, honestly, I would have been happy with an 8. An 8 on this would have been satisfying. 7.5 is just like, do I crack it? Do I keep it? I mean, it, it looks good in its case. But it's yeah, it's really tough card. Same with this. This one was, I mean, it's a wood wooden card. Like, the whole front of the card's wooden. I don't really remember the front being that scuffed up, so I'm not sure what's up with that. If, you know, if that's just how it looks now. It's pressed into the case, or 
that's how it was when I sent it, but I, I don't remember it being that bad. I thought it was actually pretty good looking. But, again, what do I know? Still relatively rare Griffey insert. So, great sucks, but card's pretty awesome. These are really tough to grade as well, but it does look pretty cool because you can see, you know, the corners kind of pop out into the corners there on the, on the case. It's kind of a perfect case for this uh, type of die cut. It fits right into it. Universal language Griffey. So that one I'm not I'm not mad about. Nine out of it. Oh, the four and a half in the corner. Munson. Then he had the seven and a half. Seven and a half Munson rookie too. He has two of these um Two of these 71s. That's uh, one of my buddies that wanted me to grade some of his stuff. Crashed the game. It's the July 18th, the 21st version. Nah, dude. I, I, the biggest kick in the nuts for me was this. That was my worst one. And my second worst one is right here. So... Those are my two big swings and misses. And really, the refractor, I'd have been happy with an 8. This one, I thought for sure I had a gem. Thought for sure I had it. I did not. But, it's still a cool card. And there are not very many 9s. Or any graded to begin with. So, it's still a win to have this as a 9. The Crash the Game Redemption. And this one I had sitting in my box for three or four shows. Nobody bought it. And I was like, you know what? Let's see if this thing's in good shape. I pulled it out and I was like, all right. This thing is actually really sharp. So I was pretty excited to see that this came back at 10. Once I got my grades back. I was pretty excited about that one. This was another one that sat in my box for a while. And I was just like hesitant on sending it just because gold label is kind of hard to grade just because of the back. This little tiny touch right there. That little tiny touch on that white corner is literally the only thing that kept holding me back. I'm like, that's how picky I am with these cards sometimes. Uh, that's how I should be all the time, but that was the one thing holding me back from submitting that Aloy Jimenez. But yeah, trust me, Sato, that's a, they're one of the the biggest kicking the nuts. This one was another one that was kind of disappointing, but again, an eight point five is not horrible, and it's slabbed and it looks good, so it's better than raw. Would love to have at least had a 9 on it, but obviously they know something that I don't. I must have missed something, because it looks pretty darn good. I'm guessing top to bottom centering is a large factor, probably at least a half a point. Uh, left to right, uh, right to left, just a touch, another half a point. And I'm sure that there was something on the surface that they decided to catch. Because that's only a half point and a half point. So I would think that the centering would have just brought it down to a nine. Now this I knew was going to gem. This, as soon as I pulled it out of the pack, I knew it was a sweet card. I sleeved it right up, put it right into my grading stack. I just had it sitting around for a while. But this is beautiful. Class 1, red to 75. 10 Griffey. Yeah, that's the highlight of my Griffey's. Because the other ones were disappointing. Masterpiece, 9.5. Tops Gallery, Trout.
prism purple refractor from all those cello packs we're ripping when we got them on uh last was that like last christmas or later black friday it was i was buying those like crazy <laughs> would have worked out if we had pulled some judge uh hollows out of there they're going for bonkers money this i didn't even think that this thing was gonna be a big card when i sent it turns out it's a pretty darn good card right now deshaun watson the rookies prism optic refractor 10 The Rookies, Optic 10, Judge. Gotta do it, man. Gotta look professional in here. I don't want anybody checking out all my messed up fingers or anything. Tops Chrome Update, Judge. Nine five. Say, do I think this might have come from that stuff that you sent me? The lime green prism. Guerrero. I could be wrong, but I think that's from some of that stuff that you sent me. Unless it's something else I had here, but I think that's from some of the uh, the random oddballs I got from you. I'm not complaining with an 8.5 on this. These are... A lot of them come beat up out of the pack. Again, it's something that I'd rather have graded than raw. So anything above an 8 is pretty good. Just a cool Tom Brady I'd pulled out of... Uh, I'd gotten out of... Fred's Breaks and Quick Ship. He did some Chronicles football. I ended up getting that out of there. This is another random one I've just had sitting in my box for forever. And I saw, I was like, well, the raw ones really aren't worth much. But if you get it graded and it's a 9 or above, it's actually got some value to it. So I think the the 9 rookies are around 35 bucks. So that was a win, you know, pulling that out of the dollar box. Dude, I don't have any mantles or roots in here, you crazy. <laughs> uh, I wish. None of that good stuff. I do have some cool stuff in here, but... Nothing in the mantle or root department. I'm a, I'm a 90s junk man. That's what I've got. 90s junk. Junk era junkie. That's what you can call me. One of the iconic Rodriguez rookies. This is another one. I I think I sent one in last time too, but it was the platinum version. I had bought. I don't know why I bought this guy's stuff, but I I just I bought a ton of these A rods. He was walking around the show, and I felt bad. Nobody was even entertaining or even looking at his stuff. And I was like, dude, I'll look at it. And it was some uh, just a ton of A rods in there, and I I can't complain because I got a a 10 platinum and a 9.5 platinum plus now this 10 gold platinum or studio so there's some cool stuff in there nothing like crazy but yeah junk in the trunk that's what my wife tells me and this is definitely the biggest card of the submission by far very happy with that this is the dual refractor this isn't the single one side one side this refracts on both sides this is a monster that's about as good as it gets for my for my submission there's some other cool stuff but <laughs> you guys are going to laugh at this one, but I had to grade it. I thought it was so cool. Sato, you're going to love this. 
I just thought this was such a cool card when I opened my James Bond box. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to grade it. It's clean. Why not? And it looks so cool. Roger Moore, James Bond collection. It's not numbered or anything, but it is the foil par var variation, the rainbow foil. It's just such a cool card. Bond. James Bond. That's right. And Roger Moore was a good Bond. Yeah, it is a pop one, 100%. Nobody else is that crazy to grade that. Now, after, if somebody sees that on eBay, they're going to be like, oh, my God, i got to pull mine out and grade them now. Now. <laughs> I don't even know if I'll sell it. There's another one from that stash from my neighbor that dropped that those uh, pages off. They're all in binder pages, and this is one of the ones that was in it. I was... Ryan Keating was telling me about how the Frank Thomases in good condition... We're selling pretty well, and I'm like, all right, well, he hasn't steered me wrong with any of those uh, 90s guys, so I took a shot on it, and it paid off. Oh, no. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, one million doll hairs. That's right. All right, one more box to go through. I gotta get to bed here. I got a early morning coming. Oh, if I can get this thing open. Oh, geez. Yeah, this box might not be opening as easy. Guess they packed this one to the brim. I'm a big fan of these uh, dual boxes like this. Don't know. I mean, they work good, but it's a pain in the butt to get anything out of them. That's what happens when you start doing the bulks. Man, I was for sure that this would get a 10 it did not yo don't even start off with me ball hairs get out of here you crazy mother <laughs> i thought for sure that the baby shark mike trout would get a gem but it didn't i guess the back centering a touch or maybe a corner or something yeah i guess the corner Yeah, top to bottom centering too, got it. Still, whatever. Baby shark. Baby shark fish. A little bit of Mike Trout love. Some more random stuff I had just sitting around for a while. Pulled it out of my box so it'll look clean. Let's send it. Bellinger 10. Here's the other Frank Thomas from that uh, those binder pages. Looks pretty sweet. T93. 10. The Lloyd bounces, uh, bounces back and starts uh, looking like the guy everybody thought he was going to be. These would be some good cards. Ended up getting a few Aloy Jimenez in that order. Same thing with Vladdy Guerrero. I think he's going to have a good season next year. So I don't mind having a bunch of his gems sitting around. The other Bellinger wasn't so lucky. Just 9-5. 
Just the 9.5. The Laser Prism Shack Attack. 9.5. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He has a full season. I think he's going to do good. He got his sophomore slump out of the way. And both of these, these were both raw grade 9.5 with Beckett. And we can obviously tell which one is actually gem mint this one has terrible centering top to bottom this one is almost perfectly centered on the right and the back centering is usually really bad of course it's really bad on the one on the left one on the right not as bad if the back centering was just a touch more on point this had probably been a gold label it's really close it would have been that back centering is what tossed that one off. I remember when those things were just ridiculous money, but he's got to figure it out at the plate, like consistently, not just having like one good game. This is kind of the last of the basketball I had sitting around that was of note that I know of. I got to go through everything still. At least knew who this was whenever I went through, and I'm like, all right, yeah, we got to set slab that. Trey Young, Threads, 10. I thought this was cool when I pulled it. Luis Siaga, Siga, however you say it. Independence Day to 76. I like on these slabs how they tell you, too, right there, the actual numbering. Not that just that it's numbered to 76 will give you the serial numbering. Here's some of the Griffies I didn't get killed on. Statitude 10. And this one, I really like this one. I loved it when I sent it, and I love it even more now. It's just such a cool design. At one point, I owned an autograph buyback version of this. And I sold it a few years ago, unless I put in one of my products, I don't remember. I believe I sold it raw, though, so unless it was graded, I, I can't remember. But I did have the buyback version of this, the autograph one. But this thing's sweet. This one here, I kind of expected an 8, so I'm not too disappointed with that. Tops traded finest MVP. I am not hurt that that's an eight. You can hope for a little bit better, but I'm not hurt that that's what that is. Whammy. Tatis, 10. Did a deal with Nick Kingery. Traded him uh, some stuff and ended up getting this one months ago when we were back doing the Don Russ breaks. I had also pulled this. Thought it was a sharp card. To 349. Coming up is my only gold label from this submission. This is my only pristine 10 this submission. And it's a pretty nice one. Garrett Cole, white parallel. So I believe they only made 50 of these. So I highly doubt there are any other pristine 10s out there. Now that's a nice card. Shame it says Cole shuts down Yanks, but you know what? It did happen, because he's a monster. And that's why we bought him. Action variation, Chris Bryant.
Barcelona 95. The Dream Team. I only need, I believe, one more 9.5 out of that, and then I have all three. Flagship, Aaron Judge, base 10. Yeah, Whammy should be a good one. We'll see. Another random card. I just thought it was cool. Figured it looked good slabbed if it was gem. It's close enough. 9.5. Obi Wan Kenobi Orange Magma. Random, I know. Very random. I never complain with any of these tops if they're an 8 or above. Anything else is just gravy. Anything 8 or above out of the 93 tops for me is a win over being raw. I don't know if he's any good or going to be any good, but I sent it anyways because they're white sparkle and supposedly there was only 20 of each made. So I figured, what the heck? It's a 10. Here's the one with Jordan in it. The 9-5 Barcelona. Dream Team. So like I said, I only need the one that goes on the right now. Two out of three. I didn't think that the third one would, would grade, but I might just send it just to heck with it. If these two got a 9-5, I'll have to check out the other one, just see if it's worth it, but I don't think it was. Update 10. All right, last row. Still trying to get a 9 or above out of this. I keep getting 8 fives as dugout collection. I'm trying, but I know the centering's off on the front, but I was hoping I could at least get a 9, get a upgrade from the 8-5, but seem to be destined to get doomed with the 8.5s on those. 8.5 curse. Oh, dude. And Slab Betty. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Might have to preserve her. Keep her around. That'd be pretty funny to send that in, actually. And see what it grates. Might just have to put on there authentic. I don't know if... I don't know if I could, uh... If I could take the... Anything less than... A 9 or 9.5 or something on her. This one I was pretty happy with. Don Russ rated rookie 9.5. I'm going to go right to my PC. Just need to get a gold press proof to go with it. Same with the one next to it. 96.95. Alright, here's some more vintage from the consignment order. Like I said, all that stuff's going to be available for sale. Just got to get pricing from them. A lot of his 1970 tops did better than his older stuff. Killer Brew. Yeah, 
and some more modern for me. This is from when we did that first edition box break. We did it by the pack. 9.5 on my Luis Robert. Joey Cantillo, no idea who you are, but hopefully you pan out. Jim Mint 10 to 150. There's the Bobby Whip 10. Now the Excel Autos are around three. PSA with the auto grade goes for much more. It's probably worth it to you to actually cross that over. That's what I was planning on doing if I didn't put it in that Jeter product. I decided to pull it out and put it in there. Um, I would 100% cross that over to the PSA and just have them do an auto grade. So PSA 10 auto would probably be in the 400 range. It'd at least bump it up a hundred bucks. And if you're holding on to it, bump it up for the long haul. But I would say as is in the 300 range, 250 to 300. So I got the Bobby Witt first edition, 9.5 and 10 base is another card from the consignment submission. Whitey Ford. Again, very fair grade. Yeah, his uh his G his Jeter rookie got kind of beat up, but it's kinda a weird color and a weird tint to it. It's definitely off center. But I told him, you know, it's it's worth sending it overall. If it came back in eight, we would have chalked it up as a win. But unfortunately, it did not. Last little stack here. Some Jordan action. These are also from his order. 9.5. Going in for the backwards dunk. NBA rookie. NBA update 9.5. This one actually got a 10 magic on Jordan. Nineteen ninety two Skybox nine. Here's a ten. Number forty one. I told him these Jordans would do pretty good, even as a nine. So anything above a nine for us was definitely definitely a bonus. We had a whole stack of them. Not sure if he had the whole set, but it's, it's close. Very cool cards. This was probably my second biggest card in the submission. Clayton Kershaw, nine gold. Two thousand eight tops update gold. Some more of the first edition stuff. Sky blue foil. John Diaz, nine point five, not numbered. And 
then same thing out of Luis Garcia. And the same thing out of Christian Javier. And last card of the submission from that box, Eloy Jimenez, base heritage 10. Well, that's it. Thanks for checking it out. Like I said, the big two winners here, the Kershaw 9 and the Kobe Shack Refractor. This stuff will all be for sale. Uh, like I said, I'll get it priced out and I'll start putting it on eBay. If there's anything that you guys want, just hit me up. I'll be around. I appreciate you jumping in and taking a look. Have a good night. See you.